Here at Northern Monk, one of our kind of key phrases that we like to use is the evolution of tradition. So we always look to kind of the past for inspiration for how we kind of move things forward. One of the kind of the styles that we focus on the most is India Pale Ale, which is a historically British style, but now synonymous with the craft beer movement. And we look at how we can kind of move that forward using elements of historical brewing practices, but combining that with new hop varietals or different techniques and certainly quite heavy hop loads as well. Today we're brewing a beer for Temple Newsome. So we're using a heritage malt called Chevalier, and that's something that we've never used as a brewery before, and it's relatively rare. Then to evolve on that tradition, we're using brand new English hops. They're hops that aren't so widely available at the moment, and some that, like today are very experimental. They don't even have a name. So we're kind of testing them out and seeing what we get from them. We're hoping to create sort of a, an IPA of today with a throwback to the heritage of IPAs. Myself and our head brewer, Brian, spent a lot of time both working with uh, the people at Temple Newsom, but also people at the Brotherton Library, going through historic books around brewing. It was really enlightening, but definitely inspirational, and it's really inspired the beer that we brewed here today. Any brewing process here at Northern Monk starts actually the day before the actual action, as it were. On the day before, the night before, what we do is we load our hopper, that's up on the first floor. So we lug all of our malt up onto the first floor. So for this particular brew, it's 425 kilos of malt. We also need to set a temperature on our hot liquor tank. Basically, that's just our hot water that we're gonna use in the morning when we start to brew. The first process that we do is called mashing. That's essentially mixing the hot water and the grain in a big old bathtub. We're trying to aim for a very specific temperature. Today that was 67 degrees, and that's pretty much your average mash temperature. But that's all about pulling sugars out of the grain and putting it into the what will soon become wort. Wort is sugary water. But once we mashed in, we then let that sit for an hour. That is just so that process of pulling all those sugars can be allowed to happen. After that's happened, we then start the second process, which is called sparging, adding water on top of the mash tun and drawing liquid out at the bottom of the mash tun and filling our kettle. The third process in brewing is boiling. We then add in a very small amount of bittering hops just to add a bit of bitterness and add a bit of backbone to the beer. We boil for 90 minutes. After that, 90 minutes is up. What we do is we create a whirlpool in our kettle, we knock the elements off and we bring our temperature down to 80 degrees. Then we add a much bigger addition of hops. The reason why we're bringing that temperature down is because hops, basically, the longer they're exposed to a boil, the more bitter they become. So what we're trying to do is avoid all of that bitterness in this second addition and create an aroma and a flavor. So after we've done that, we've introduced our hops for 20 minutes. We then will chill it straight down whilst we're transferring it into our fermentation vessel. At that point, we add in our yeast and the final stage of brewing takes place, which is fermentation. Fermentation is when yeast chomps on the sugars, turns it into alcohol, turns it into CO2, and ferments all of the fermentable sugars we got from the very first process, the mashing. That'll take anywhere from four to six days to ferment through and can be drank from about a week and a half after the actual brew date. I hope it will taste like a reflection of what it is in that it's a real kind of amalgamation of historic brewing practices, but with kind of cutting edge thoughts on different techniques using some of what we've learned and some of what's employed today. Yeah, I think it should be a fantastic beer. We're hoping for a really nice crisp nutty base and then kind of a juicy finish, a sort of stone fruit juice finish. But at the end of the day we'll figure out what we get at the end of it and it's a bit of an experiment and it's hopefully what Temple Newsome likes. <laughs>